extraordinary. I mean, it's been such a um, remarkable year for performances all round. And the title feels a bit sort of arbitrary, you know, in the, in the wake of those extraordinary performances. So it's an honour indeed. And I was, I was here, I love Santa Barbara. <laughs> Last time I was here was back in, I think it was 2008 for the Modern Masters Award. So it's, um, it's lovely to be back in in this way. Well, we welcome you back. Let me ask you, Jasmine was such an intense performance. How did you shed her afterwards? Well, I have three boys, and so it makes your work your relationship to your work at the end of the day, it ha you have to be very pragmatic about it. But, I mean, the detritus of a character like this does stay around for a while, and I don't know that it ever necessarily leaves you. It expands, you know, your sense of, you know, what, what happens to other people in the world, and I felt lucky every night that I wasn't sitting on a park bench, and then I went home and am happily married with three children. You know, I have that, I'm financially secure, you know, and I have a happy family life, and, and Jasmine has none of those things. And I think in the end, even though a lot of, lot of what she says and does, it, you know, is perhaps unpalatable for an audience, I think that that's what makes her really human, is she has none of those structures that I'm lucky enough to have. It makes it easy for you to go on through life. I want to get this quote right. Woody said your performance was like unleashing a hydrogen bomb. What, what did he do to ignite that fuse? The, the devastation was, um, <laughs> yes, unfathomable. Um, well, that's, I guess that's a compliment. I mean, he, he wrote the script and 97% of his direction is in the script and he's created extraordinary opportunities for actresses and um, I was lucky enough to be the one asked to play this role. I mean, it was an extraordinary <laughs> complex creation. And then also, um, the films are always cast so impeccably, so to have those actors to bounce off with and all of us were theatre animals, so we understood our function in the scene and we understood, you know, almost treating it a bit like a cross between film and theatre in a way, because you only get one or two goes at it with the Woody Allen film. Was there any one special moment that you took away from that film, from the filming, that, that stays with you? Um, I've got palpable memories of um, the apartment, Ginger's apartment, because it was so claustrophobic. And I have such an extraordinary uh, respect for the crew, because it was very difficult to maneuver around that space. And, um, and, and it was very non-hierarchical in there, everyone mucked in. So I think I rem remember the, the smell of human sweat in that apartment for quite some time, the smell of fear.